Welcome to the Hamstring Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Monday, July 16, 2012. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential close at negative 323. The Nasdaq advanced decline differential close at negative 720. There were 33 new 52-week highs for the S&P 500 and 7 new 52-week lows for the S&P 500. For the volatility, we saw 270,000 contracts traded on the VIX today with 23 million in total premium paid. For the dollar-weighted put-call ratio in July, we saw 5.9 reading with 35% of the total premium paid. This is a very bullish reading, but we must take into consideration that we are in expiration week. For August, we saw 0.45 reading with 42% of the total premium paid. This is a neutral to bearish reading here. Here we have the daily chart for ES. You can see here we have a down day, three handles down for the day or 0.25%. But we bounced somewhat from the lows and then we sold off a little bit on the afternoon. We are still holding zero sigma and the trend line that we've been watching for. Tomorrow we're looking for the 162 level, break that, go for the highs of last week, taking those off, and then going for the 1380 level here on SPX. Below the zero sigma line, we're looking for 1330 and then 1313. We're going to look at the intraday chart, but we're going to start with the SPY to get some better targets. Here we have a doji on SPY. You can see basically flat here on the daily chart. CI a little bit higher and um, CI dip continues to go higher, which is positive here for the market. But still, we want to take this day, we have an inside day, we want to take this positive one sigma, maybe go to 137. On the intraday chart for SPX, we have here the 30 minute chart. You can see how collapsed the volatility is after the huge up day we had on Friday and Thursday. We want to see here that basically we were flat throughout the day, going up, down, up, down, and doing pretty much nothing. To have a better view, we're going to look at this chart. The 30 minute chart. Here you can see we open gap down. Looks like we're we're going to go further down and then we started going higher, make a couple of new highs, and after that we just stayed range bound throughout the day, doing basically nothing. After this chart, we're gonna look at the GLD chart. We're gonna start with the daily chart for GLD. Here we have the daily chart. You can see flat on gold and other doji here on GLD. We are still not being able to break this zero sig line. Still having problems here to the upside, continuing to make lower lows. You can see here on another chart for GLD. Throughout the day, it's having problems with its 50, 20, and now 10 day moving average. A lot of confluence level here but still making lower highs every time and we're gonna see what happens if we're gonna come and test this low or if we're gonna stay here range bound making some more consolidation tomorrow Ben Bernanke speaks this is gonna be critical on gold maybe he hints something about QE3 and we get a pop on gold or nothing and we get a sell up here on gold so watching really closely here GLD for the VIX chart Here we have the daily, we have a hammer here on the VIX 2% higher for the day, but still we continue to make lower highs, as you can see here, and this is the start of a new week. We want to see a break and close above 18, to see maybe a change in trend here, but still not getting that. CI is green, but slope still negative. You can see here CI did pointing lower, so it's still nothing. One thing to take here into consideration is how Sigma channel width has been collapsing on the last weeks. We don't want to be see volatility that low because you can see here after all these collapses, there's a huge bounce up. So maybe we're getting close for a bounce higher on the VIX or maybe a continuation uh, of a trend and maybe the market goes higher with earnings. Tomorrow we have all Mon Goldman Sachs coming before the market opens so we're gonna have an eye on that to see what happens with the big bank. 
On the number of 52 week highs and 52 week lows, we have 33 new 52 week highs for the S&P 500 today. Pretty good action, you can see here. And only 7 new 52 week lows. Again, good action here on the highs versus lows of the S&P 500. We have a special offer by TradeStation. Get your housing analytics proprietary indicators paid by TradeStation. Contact Active Traders Office in Chicago, Peter Albino, at the number listed below. Have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.